Good day. Thank you for joining me for another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I've got queued up here um, the game Jet Boot Jack, which uh, I played. I played as a teenager and enjoyed. Um, sorry, I just was struck by the, uh, the bouncing through the screens here. Um, I have to say that this game is very unforgiving. Um, it's it's tricky to play um, and uh, very <laughs> it likes to do you in at the drop of a hat so uh, let's give it a go here it's uh, it's it's a colorful game it is it is reasonably fun to play although the frustration of the difficulty level I think might might tend to get to you after a while basically you're um, you're piloting, or, or well, you're you're Jack, and you've got jet boots. You've also got apparently earphones. Um, just about everything will do you in if you touch it here. You can, you see this little uh, stalactite. You can, you can briefly duck if you uh, hold down your fire button. Um, you'll spring back, but spring back up again fairly quickly. Uh, your energy counts down also quite rapidly and you replenish that by grabbing those little pink um, things on the ceiling that look like they have a static effect. You can ride these elevators up and down. Um, sorry, I'm too busy talking and not playing. Oh, yeah, and don't stop over an open hole or your jack is done for. Um... Those little things on the ceiling slide back and forth, and uh, if they touch you, you'll you're equally done. Yeah, don't have your toes touching a moving platform, or you lose a you lose a jack. Uh, if you time that, you can do what I just did there and duck and get underneath the platform. Um, I think the energy things actually do respawn, so so that's not too bad. Although they may have a limited number. Why are you beeping? Um, in any case, you have to uh, you have to collect all of the musical notes. Maybe those energy things only respawn once. I'm not sure. What the heck? Why are you beeping? It's not as though I'm running out of energy. I don't quite know what to make of that, actually. I don't remember that. Oh, and once again, don't let the tip of your cap get touched by a moving platform or you, you are a goner. Uh, once you collect all of the musical note symbols. I don't know what that's about other than maybe uh, maybe a bit of a music theme with Jack and his headset, his headphones. There you go. Oh, you get a bonus for energy things remaining. Let it rock. Okay, so yeah, there is a bit of a music theme obviously. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, collect all of the uh, musical notes in the time limit, avoiding all forms of death which are upon you, and there are plenty. And, oh, goodness. Did that platform? Oh, it doesn't stop in the middle. I was expecting it to stop. My mistake. Not paying close enough attention to the behavior there. So how do you get to the bottom one then? Yes, 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 beep, beep, beep. Oh, you have to write it from the top level, obviously. Okay. We can do that. Not without incurring the, the mad beeping though. Duck. I tried to duck, but I obviously triggered it just a hair too late. Now, um, I believe you can skip 
Yes, see how it says there, maximum jump one? So you can actually skip to the highest level that you previously achieved, which which is quite good, actually. Um, I've talked about that before, games where, you know, maybe a little tedious to have to play through the earlier levels in order to progress in the game. It's nice to have that kind of a feature. Now I am going to briefly experiment with the skill level. I think P might mean practice. Let's see how hard this is on skill level four. What is What makes this a skill level four game? It's not obvious to me what makes this a skill level four game. Does your energy run out more quickly? Oh, there's more uh, roof hanging bad guys. I guess that's one thing. <laughs> that's the only real obvious thing. Does your energy run out more quickly? I'm not sure. Oh, good lord. Lack of talent doesn't help. Just missed the platform. All right, I am going to move away from that and uh, go back to skill level one, but skip to level, skip to uh, the second level and give this another go. bet or not. Should I maybe? Oh, I need some energy pretty bad. Oh, don't fly over that. You have to, I forgot about that. Those little sliding platforms, you have to, um, you have to ride them. You can't fly over their, their tracks, unfortunately. It like, doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's that's the rule. Now you're going to regenerate little energy thing? I hope so. Maybe, uh, yeah, there you go, good. Although it counts down awfully quick. It seems to count down quicker if you're not moving. Maybe that's what the little alarm thing is about. Uh, okay, I need to go back down here. Oh, whoops. Uh, smooth. So very smooth. So much talent on display, you just don't know what to do with it. Oh, need some energy again. Come on, platform. Come on, platform. <laughs> wow, I'm just so good, so very good. Uh, hmm, can I get that before my time runs out? Let's find out. Yes, I can. Let it rock. All right, so here we are on <laughs> screen three. So very skilled. Uh, you can ride the conveyor belt. Okay, that was a little on the lucky side. So, should have waited. Is that going to be it? Game of air. So there you go. That's a, a colorful game. It's got some uh, decent music, at least in the uh, title screen. Tricky. Lots of difficult things to get used to and requires a bit of coordination, I think, to be especially good at it. And you also have to pay attention to the details of the moving platforms and 
what's going to kill you, which is basically everything, and when it's going to kill you, which is most of the time. But, um, yeah, not a bad game, actually. Oh, what did I... Oh, what happened there? You're able to do in the enemies? How does that work? I don't think I ever knew that. Now I'm curious. I was about to wrap that. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Let me see if I can uh, do in that baddie there. Look at that. The things you learn playing games 30 years or 35 years later. Or 40 years later. Oh well, yeah, darn near 40 years later. All right, well, I just learned something that's uh, probably going to make my future Jet Boot Jack endeavors, such as they are, a little more interesting. So you can you can do in the bit. Don't don't let the tip of your cap get hit by the platform, though. That's gonna that's sure death right there. Um, so if you go over the top of where one of the baddies is and push down, you do this little bouncing maneuver, and you eliminate the baddie, which would make certain parts of this a lot easier. <laughs> uh, still don't run into stalactites though, because that's sure surefire death. 100%. Well, look how easily I completed that level. Okay, in any case, um, I'm glad I discovered that. Uh, but I think that's about all I have to say about that for now. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.